on Sunrise protecting medical workers, how the governor's latest executive order aims to do just that amid the coronavirus pandemic. Grocery workers shoved to the front of the line in the fight against the coronavirus. What's being done for employees to keep stores up and running? We're debunking coronavirus myths, the facts you should know before sharing articles online. Don't let the coronavirus infect your bank account. Three things you can do to make money without leaving your home. Well, we missed the snow, but we didn't miss the cold. It's going to be a windy and blustery day today. And chilly still tomorrow, but some warmer temperatures ahead. It's Friday, March 20th. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. Ah, the sound of music in the Twin Cities. People cooped up in their homes, joining together to sing from their porches, balconies, the streets, all to keep their spirits up during these tough times. Yeah, that's a music city. So have you seen anything like this in your neighborhood? What are you doing to send the love? We want to share it with everyone. Share it with us. Yeah, definitely. We're also asking for smiles mm -hmm. and selfies. So whatever you can to lift your spirits on this Friday, post your pictures, videos and messages of support on social media. Use the hashtag send the love and sunrisers and we'll share some of your posts later on this morning. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of them already. But first, speaking of sharing the love, Sven and Alicia giving us some good news heading into the weekend. Yes, heart emojis and everything. Sven, we just missed the snow overnight. Yeah, I know a lot of you are really looking forward to some snow, right? Uh, yeah, we missed that, but some areas to the south and southeast, did, but we did have the cold and wind that's still settling in wind gusts of up to 30 miles an hour right now, and uh, it's going to stay that way through the morning and that's creating some wind chills 24 right now dropped another couple degrees feels like it's 10 with that 20 mile per hour sustained wind. So they did see some snow in La Crosse, southeastern Minnesota. That's all moving very quickly, uh, sweeping across Wisconsin. Now we've cleared out, so we are going to see sunshine today. Just pretty chilly for our first afternoon of spring. Only around freezing, ironically, our coldest day this whole month of March. And unfortunately, a few issues popped up in the morning commute. We had a crash pop up along 35W southbound near 694. Uh, but the big story in the traffic world this morning, Highway 61 northbound currently closed due to a serious injury crash near Lower Afton Road. Folks are being diverted on that road. And if you are coming up from Newport along the stretch of Highway 61, you can either hop on 494 uh, north to 120 or 494 south towards Highway 156. We're working on getting some more information on that crash and we'll have an update in a few minutes. Look forward to that. Thanks, Alicia. We're tracking the latest overnight in the battle against the coronavirus. Here are the top headlines you need to know. The State Department just issued a level four travel advisory telling people not to travel abroad as the coronavirus marches across the globe. In Wisconsin, two people have now died from the coronavirus. Both patients were 50 years and older and lived near the Milwaukee area. And here in Minnesota, there are now 89 cases. And as the virus grows, the governor is taking action to protect health care workers on the front lines, stopping elective surgeries across the state. And this morning, at least 1,000 coronavirus tests are backlogged in Minnesota. Ellery McArdle is live at the Capitol. And Ellery, any progress on those tests? Yeah, Gia, some encouraging news on that uh, on that front. Uh, Mayo Clinic says it's going to start processing 4,000 coronavirus tests every single day. So that's some encouraging news there. Uh, again, this comes as Governor Walls issues his latest executive order to stop all elective surgeries in the state of Minnesota. Now, this is all to protect or part of a larger goal to protect medical staff and to conserve equipment like masks, face shields and gowns because there is a national shortage right now. The Minnesota Hospital Association says other critical supplies like ventilators have yet to arrive. They're on order from the federal stockpile and it's not clear when they'll get here. The state is trying to be as prepared as possible in case there's a surge of coronavirus patients. If we get 100 patients across the state, we are going to be okay. If we get 100,000 patients that need hospital level of care, the entire system is going to be extremely stressed. And as part of this larger uh, test to really, uh, you know, protect these hospital workers, um, the hospital association says they do not want you coming to the ER unless you are very, very ill. So that's something else to keep in mind, guys. Yeah, I got to limit that exposure to all those workers. All right, Ellery, thank you. 
The latest numbers show Italy now leads the world in the number of deadly cases. With more than 3,000, 205 people have died here in the U.S. with more than 1,400 confirmed sick. Right now, lawmakers are racing to pass a trillion dollar economic stimulus plan. It could help struggling businesses and put checks in your mailbox in a matter of weeks. Meanwhile, President Trump just signed a relief package uh, that provides paid sick leave and employment benefits to those affected by the pandemic, as well as free testing. And this morning's digital dive, a story creating a lot of buzz online. Governor Walls has said grocery stores will remain open during the COVID-19 pandemic. So the local grocery store union is now asking, asking to be reclassified as tier one critical first responders. Now what that means is that grocery store employees would be put in the same category as hospital workers, police, firefighters, and first responders. It would also entitle them to benefits like daycare from local schools. UFCW local 663, that's Union, their president, Matt Utecht, who represents a few local grocery stores, said in part, our grocery store members are on the front lines in the battle against COVID-19. As such, they should be protected as other first responders. Our members provide essential services to Minnesotans. Now, grocery stores are also giving out more pay because of the recent demand. Right now, according to the Star Tribune, Cub, Jerry's Foods, and Kowalski's will get an increase of two bucks per hour and double time pay for overtime. And at Lund's and Byerly's, full-time employees will receive an additional 500 bucks and part-time employees will get 200. Now that same article says about uh, 130 workers at Cub are currently staying home to take care of their children because they have no other daycare options. And if they were classified tier one, then they could have stayed on the job. Now, speaking of jobs, Cub says they have about 200 openings for store and pharmacy employees and Kowalski's you guys is also hiring. So for folks who might have worked in the restaurant mm -hmm. industry and they're looking for a, a quick job yeah. head over there or all the different venues, music venues that right. are closed too. I mean, a lot of people are looking for jobs right now. Yeah, let's get them that designation so those people can get back to work mm -hmm. that have to take care of their kids. Even if we, it's yeah. temporary, yeah, right? Yeah, we need the yeah. grocery stores to stay open at this yeah. time. Thanks. Thanks. Well, new information about the coronavirus is coming out constantly, and if you can stay on top of it, you just want to text us virus to that number, 763-797-7215. Get a link with our coverage sent straight to your phone, and you can also text questions to that number. We'll try to find an answer. Now here's a look at today's other top stories in your morning rush. An update on a hit and run in a diner that injured a teenager getting on a school bus. Police say a 26 year old man is now in custody. Carlton Duke Troutman was arrested in his home state of Michigan. Police say Troutman hit 17 year old Kyla Avant as she was getting on her school bus on France Avenue. Police are investigating a deadly crash in Austin, Minnesota. They say a car was driving on a cul-de-sac when it went off the road, down an embankment and onto another street. The car then burst into flames. Austin police didn't say how many people died. U of M medical students are stepping up to help busy medical workers dealing with the outbreak. They've created MN COVID sitters. It allows healthcare providers to ask for help with anything like babysitting or grocery shopping. Help is requested through an online application. Then health workers are paired with a student volunteer who does the task for them. Some animal shelters in the area need your help. The Animal Humane Society in St. Paul is temporarily closing as a safety measure handling the coronavirus. That means dozens of adoptable animals housed at the Humane Society will now be forced into foster care. Shelters are hoping people offer to foster during this time. Right now, the CDC says there are no reports of pets getting sick from the coronavirus. And that's your Friday Morning Rush. Thanks. Chris, uh, Sven, let's go over to you with our one thing weather. Yeah, cold and windy today. That's it. Temperatures headed up to only around freezing this afternoon. And again, we're still keeping an eye. Again, road closure Highway 61 due to a serious injury crash at Lower Afton Road. Again, Highway 61 northbound currently closed, backed up all the way to 494. So if that's your route, you're going to follow the posted detour. Well, as concerns about the coronavirus continue to spread, misinformation is spreading just as quickly. And this morning, we're answering some of the most common questions. Are face masks necessary? If you're walking down the street, if you're not in the medical field, no, you don't need to wear a mask. It really is not going to protect you against the coronavirus or any other virus. How contagious is this strain of coronavirus? So this strain of the virus, COVID-19, seems to be highly infectious, highly contagious, and it's usually spread if someone is coughing and sneezing, and those particles get into your lungs, into your eyes, into your nose, into your mouth. How deadly is it? 
the mortality rate for the COVID-19 virus it is estimated to be between 2 and 4%, but we don't know the exact details, the exact numbers, because we don't know the exact number of cases from all over the world. Do flu or pneumonia vaccines protect you from this? No. The influenza vaccine is to protect you against influenza A and influenza B, and the pneumonia vaccine is to help protect you against bacterial pneumonia. Yeah, all questions that a lot of people have been asking us, even mm -hmm. through our zip whip. So others want to know also if their pets could potentially spread the new coronavirus. Well, the World Health Organization says there's no evidence dogs or cats can be infected or spread that virus. Now, that's at least one little piece of good news when it comes to all this. We're finding out more stuff about it every day. Every day. Well, people in California being asked to stay home right now will share the new estimates about coronavirus that sparked that order. Then a NASA astronaut who is heading to space next month says he's stressed out by the coronavirus, how he's working to keep COVID-19 out of space. And are you out of work because of the outbreak? We've got tips on saving and how you can make money by just watching TV.